with word that four Duluth child care facilities are closing, leaving hundreds of kids without a place to go. As state lawmakers sat down with parents and providers today in a roundtable discussion on the crisis. Northern News Now's Michaela Wrench sat in on today's session and learned about the obstacles faced and how state lawmakers hope to address them. The child care crisis in our community is nothing new. But providers and parents are desperate for a new solution. We've been telling you for years that we need help, but it feels like it falls on deaf ears until it's time for our doors to close. Lonnie Saulsmith works with the YWCA in Duluth, one of the three facilities that will be closing its doors by the end of the year due to staffing and funding. With the three Duluth daycares closing, as well as a fourth at-home facility, over 200 kids they serve will now be without a provider. That's on top of the 930 daycare slots that are already needed in Duluth. Parents feel hopeless and have to contemplate their next move because of this ongoing issue. We're going to have to make the decision to not pay our bills, not be able, like, not pay taxes and pay somebody for childcare, or do something that's technically illegal to make sure that we have childcare. Other parents that can't find childcare, like Michaela Krushki, even consider unreasonable solutions. We've considered driving up to an hour away just to, so she could be somewhere so we could continue working. But moving forward, State Senator Grant Hoschild came up with three proposals that he thinks will help going into the upcoming legislative session, including emergency bills, infrastructure and stabilization grants, and his Great Start Child Care Affordability Bill, something he thinks would make the biggest difference for families. Make families with incomes between $55,000 and $160,000 a year that opportunity to reach that 7% income threshold for child care. That is going to be my number one priority going into this session. Proposals parents looking for solutions say they desperately need. In Duluth, Michaela Wrench, Northern News Now. And for a more detailed look at Senator Hoschild's three proposals, you can head to northernnewsnow.com.